Long ago, at the dawn of time, a great and magnificent commonwealth ruled this planet. It was a civilization that existed in perfect harmony with nature, for it was a society that relied entirely upon the principles of advanced sorcery and magic. Upon the spirits of the skies, of the oceans, and of the earth itself. Then conflict broke out among the people as the source of their magical energy began to disappear. Quickly, the conflicts escalated into a war that engulfed the entire world. Afterwards, even the greatest of man's civilizations lay in ruins. However, time passed, and little by little, the survivors set about the task of rebuilding their world. Others, however, sought to recover the lost powers of the past, for buried in the countless ruins, great magic and treasures still existed. The people of this new world called these daring adventurers the Ruin Explorers. traps you missed today. Five? Mm, yeah, that's right. Five screw-ups. It's your job to disarm those traps and the rate that you're going, it won't matter how many lives we have. have sucked any more today. The rune was completely gutted and we were so busy with traps that we didn't find squat. <laughs> oh, come on, Eerie. Griping about it won't make things any better. <sighs> I'm afraid nothing short of a miracle will get us the ultimate power at this rate. Eerie, I'm really tired. Why don't we stay at a nice inn tonight instead of camping out again? Huh? Huh? <laughs> that sounds good. Yippee! Thank you, Eerie! Now all we have to do is find an attack when you stay at the hall! <laughs> Why do I get this feeling that I've been taken? Hey, fam! No regular spending, you hear me? Yes, Eerie! <laughs> oh, boy. There you go. All this for one night's food and lodging. Hmm. I'm afraid you're a little short. A little short? Hey, do you know what we had to go through to get all that crap? I'm afraid you're not getting sympathy or a room here. Oh, we aren't, are we? Now, now. Have patience, fellow traveler. And who in the heck are you? <laughs> who am I? I am Galuff, traveling merchant at your service, my lady. And the furry one is my partner, Gil. And what interest does a traveling merchant have in us? Here you look at that! Well, it appears that things aren't going too well for you and your partner at the moment, so I was wondering if perchance you'd be willing to sell those fine artifacts to me? You mean you're willing to give us good money for this junk? 
At least enough to pay for your room, sure. Hmm. Hello, doggy. My name is Sam. Would you like to talk? I can understand what you're saying. I'm a Wiccan. <laughs> Good doggy. <coughs> it's a deal, then. All the stuff for enough to spend the night here. Tally up the charges, my good man. Hmm. <laughs> Wee! Eerie, look! Look how soft and bouncy it is! Will you behave, fam? Don't bounce around so much. You'll embarrass us both. But I can't even remember how many days it's been since we slept on a bed. <laughs> Ah, hmm. oh, this is wonderful. Hmm. Hey there, Erie. Isn't a hotel room this nice awfully expensive? That old man was really nice. Don't you think so, Erie? Don't you like old men, Erie? What you did today? I'm sorry, Master. Please don't be angry. A rodent, prepare for your punishment now. <coughs> this is poetic justice for a rat like you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Same old dream. How dare that miserable old fart cast a curse like that on me? <sighs> As soon as I get my hands on the ultimate power, I'll dig up that reprehensible old fossil and teach him what a curse really is! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Eerie. Next time I'll memorize this spell right, I promise. Honest. Mm. Yeah, I'm counting on it. to both of you. I trust both you ladies slept well. Mm -hmm. We slept very well, thank you. Yeah, we did. But I'd like to know why you're being so generous. Oh, worry not. Goodness, no. I have no ulterior motives. I'm a romantic at heart, and I just can't keep myself from supporting courageous young adventures like yourselves. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Hey, do you want... <laughs> By the way, you two ladies wouldn't happen to be looking for something called the ultimate power, uh, would you? Uh, 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 what was that? Something power, did you say? Oh, you haven't heard of it? Well, that's a shame. All right, as a special favor, I'll tell you. I have to keep my voice down when I'm talking about this. But there used to be a king named Arukas, whose reign made Ludok the most powerful kingdom on the entire continent. 500 years ago, when Ludok was at its peak, the king became deeply depressed after losing his precious wife, Queen Lihiana. The kingdom faltered, fighting broke out everywhere, and the nation was considered doomed. But one day, according to legend, King Arukas learned about the ultimate power and used that power to restore Ludok to its former prosperity. Suddenly, Ludok was more prosperous and successful than ever before. Really? <laughs> I thought that was just a legend. Ah, but there's more. In order for the king to obtain that power, he had to practice a special ceremony that went on for days, weeks at a time. He had to shut himself away in a tall tower, remaining in absolute solitude for the complete duration of the ritual. That was where the problem began. The king began to suspect that there was some malicious force residing deep within himself. He feared that the power of the ritual itself had become to consume his soul. Finally, 
Fearing the power he had unleashed, the king decided to seal it away forever, along with his castle and himself. That castle is buried in the desert east of this city. Uh, you know a lot about this. Oh, not really. I just simply happened to run across a map detailing the interior of the castle. <clears throat> the interior of the castle? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, as you can tell, I could never survive a search through such difficult conditions. I was thinking I might pass the map along to someone who could make good use of it. But if you aren't interested, well, I suppose I'll sell it to the next adventures I run into. Uh, just what are you asking for it? <laughs> well, I did spend almost my entire life savings on this map, you know. <laughs> Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <sighs> hey, Eerie? Yeah? Eerie, what would you do with the ultimate power when you get it? What would I do? Well, first of all, I'd have this curse removed. And then I'd get back at my master. And then maybe I'd go on to conquer the world. That's depressing. Yeah, right. And what are you going to do with a power like that? All you want to do is conjure up some food and stuff for yourself, I bet. No, I wouldn't. What I'd do is have someone teach me a whole lot of magic spells. And then I'm going to have even more spirit friends and animal friends and people friends. And then I'm going to build a huge town where we all can live happily together, me and all my friends. Huh. And you certainly have few desires. You just think that because you're greedy. Yeah, yeah, and I'm also a bully and a cheapskate and a grouch. Wow, I didn't think you knew. Bam! <laughs> but it's the truth! should be straight ahead and down. Huh, there should be a hole oh, here. Oh, 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 Eerie, look, 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 hey, up, oh, up, oh, Eerie! Huh? What do you keep saying up when I said down? No, no, look out! face, but the eyes look like they're buttons or switches. Hey, I know what this is, Eerie. Huh? It's called the Zadurak Dragon, and it's the three-eyed holy dragon that can read the minds of men and beasts. Hmm, no kidding. And let's see, the right eye perceives benevolence, the left one reads maliciousness, and the one on top, I think, sees the truth. Hmm. I guess maybe sometimes you can be useful after all. I sure am. You could say thank you for once, you know. Yeah, so one of these eyes must be the switch we need to push in order to open the door safely. Oh, I know! It's this one! Oh, wait a minute! No! 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 Oh, my damn! My damn! Are you let go? Please. Are you kidding? Pull that button, babe! Or we're both going to be shush kebabs!
that it? The ultimate power? <laughs> Hold. For what reason dost thou seek the idol? For what reason? Answer me. It's an encrypted spell. What are we going to do, Eerie? If we don't say the right words, these goons will kill us. I'm going to have to make something up. If thou dost not answer... Behold! I am Arukas, king of all Ludar. I come to retrieve this idol and restore my kingdom to glory. Disabling the magic traps in this room was mere child's play for me. <laughs> and we'll be taking this, too. Uh, uh, who in the heck are you? Give that back! Well, aren't you the feisty one? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for finding all the hidden traps for me. You low dance! You tricked us, didn't you? You make it sound so criminal. All I wanted was two talented scouts to guide us to this castle. Merchant scum! Do you have any idea what kind of hell we went through to get here? My heart bleeds. Dealing with adversity builds character, you know. And so does sacrifice. I imagine we'll be seeing you two again, assuming that you managed to get out of here alive, that hey, is. Hey, wait! <laughs> are you <laughs> All right. Now that we have the idol, let's go up to the Forbidden Tower and see just what this ultimate power is capable of. Yeah. They're leaving us here, Eerie. What are we going to do? Oh, we have to get out of here, figure out a way of stopping them, and then take the ultimate power away from them. Is that all? Yeah, but would you mind getting these two off of me first? Here is that coffin. Hmm. This must be the altar you present the idol on. Miguel, present the proof of royalty. Ah. Everything's ready to go. Now, powers that be, endow me with the ultimate power! Hold it, Rasha. That's endow us, right? Oops, my tongue must have slipped. I can't turn my back on you for a second, can I? Boy, <laughs> I thought I had trouble trusting my old business partners. <laughs> Any second now. <laughs> this door is about to open. Everything we wish for will come true. Oh. <gasps> this is totally futile. It won't budge. Well, I guess we have no other choice. Bam, use your wig and magic to break this door down. <laughs> for breaking things that won't like me anymore. I can only use their magic for constructive things. But it's not as if we're doing this for something bad. Our lives are at stake. I'm sorry I can't. They'll stop talking to me, Eerie. Oh, for crying out loud. This is why I hate working with you wiggin' wuzzies. I'm sorry, Eerie. Oh, well, your precious spirits never liked me very much anyway. Fam, how many of the special tablets do we have left? Um, hold on, let me check. Another five times, maybe? That's all that we have left? All right, this is it, fam. The next time, you're going to have to do it by yourself. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh. Oh. Art thou the ones that summoned me? Why, 
yes, of course we are, and we went through hell to get here. Why? Why have you come to this place? What do you mean? We came to have our wishes fulfilled, of course. Uh, you do have it, right? The ultimate power? No, oh, please, bestow upon me the riches of the world! <coughs> hey, you! Stop jumping ahead! Capitalist. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about all that. We'll give you our wishes in order, so please oblige. No, wait. Huh? I do not have the ultimate power you speak of. Huh? You don't? No. I am just the spirit of Lihiana, queen of Ludark. All that I can do is to greet my king and support and solace him, as I did in the days before my passing. But, but according to legend, King Arukas came here to perform the ceremony to use the ultimate power! The ultimate power you refer to can be gained only from the combination of three enchanted items. When he came here, the king often told me of how he called upon the magic of the spirit sword, known as Sargus, the mirror of truth and the proof of royalty. He placed one of those items here and visited me under the pretense of invoking the power. That is all I know. I'm sorry I could not help you. Hey, wait! Wait a freaking minute! Oh, oh. This can't be! After all the hell we've gone through, now we have to go back to the starting point all over again. Who went through hell? Huh? <laughs> we heard everything that went on in there. You've got some nerve saying that after we did it all for you. Huh? It's so nice to see that you're safe. <laughs> oh, please. It was a momentary lapse of conscience. You won't double-cross us again. Magic armor, your enemies are right before you. Those low-life thieves have stolen the idol. <laughs> We need that proof of royalty to get the ultimate power! Yeah, you nag. Ugh. All that attitude ain't gonna make up for not wearing armor. I hope you like getting hurt. <laughs> the great Miguel needs no armor. In a hundred battles, no man has cut me. Not from the tips of my toenails to my dainty brown nose hairs. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, was it? Still your arrogant tongue. The mighty Miguel, alone and on foot, has bested 50 mounted riders at once. Beware my blade, boy. Uh, uh, huh? uh, hey, no freak peace, you pervert! Oh, mama, the boy's a girl! Are you calling me a boy, you pervert? Yeah! 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 It would appear that the great Miguel isn't so great after all. Oh, no, she didn't cut me, did she? Ooh. This is really stupid. Come along, fam. Not so fast, my pretty. Uh, 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 oh, not again! Uh -huh. I'll talk about stupid. That includes you. Uh, 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 <laughs> Why don't the two of you keep her royal majesty company for the rest of eternity? Bye. to the gods you talk so big and accomplish so little, Miguel. I'm sorry, Russia. Huh? It's been sleep spell, Miguel. This one has two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You bastard! <laughs> Thanks for handling all the grunt work for me, you muscle-headed buffoons. <laughs> you treacherous, <laughs> greedy! Oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> he who laughs last laughs the loudest and wins the prize. <laughs> well, you must be exhausted, so I won't interrupt your nap any further, my good friends. After all, rune exploring is such hard work. <laughs> you. <laughs> Time to get out of here! <laughs> Damn it all! I can't uh? afford to keep using magic this way! Huh? Oh. Why that snaky pile of camel's droppings? Fam, you're going to have to use your magic to stop him! Will the spirits let you nail that old fart? You bet they will! Oh, oh great spirits that inhabit the earth! Let the hidden seeds flower and your tendrils get burned! Thank goodness you're s safe. I only did this because those two threatened my life, you know. Yes! That's right. I would never dream of imagining about trying to trick you two otherwise, really. And? Well, what? Oh, yes. Here, please, take this idol. Of course, I was just holding it for you. Hmm? <clears throat> and anything else? <laughs> Oh, yes, please take your money back as well, of mm, course. That's better. <laughs> Whoosh. We did it, Erie! We have the proof of royalty now! Well, I suppose. But we have to find the other two treasures first. Until we find the sword in the mirror, our quest for the ultimate power is still a long way from over, I'm afraid. Yeah, but that means we can travel and have fun! You know, you're too damn cheerful. Don't forget that the others will be dogging our steps all the way. Oh, don't worry. Those losers are no match for my magical powers, Eerie! Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, I'm not going to let you go to sleep tonight until you completely memorize five more spells. Huh? Five? Ruin Explorer, 
Mars? Sam and Eerie continue on their quest for the ultimate power. The next adventure will pit them against the mysteries of a doomed underground city. I won't let that Rasha and Miguel get in our way this time. The next episode of Ruin Explorers will be... Oh, spirits that reside in the air. And a very special new companion will be introduced as well. You mean special to you, don't you? Anyway... See you soon.